There are lots of wonderful Bible stories about different characters. And many of them are made into books that we can look at and read and get wonderful, colorful pictures. This particular story is a story of Jonah. Now, Jonah was a preacher or a prophet. And God told him one day that he wanted him to go to Nineveh and to preach to the people and to tell them to repent or God was going to destroy their city. Well, Jonah had his own idea. And he didn't think that the people of Nineveh deserved, were going to repent. So he didn't see why he should have to go all the way to Nineveh. But he went down to the, to the local port and he got on a ship. And instead of going towards Nineveh, he went in the opposite direction to Tarshish. And while he was on the ship, a storm came up. And the thunder and the lightning and the wind was horrible. And the sailors were doing everything that they needed to do to stop, to help the ship not sink. But it wasn't doing too well offhand. And finally, they decided that surely that God must be angry with somebody on the ship. And they started talking to everybody and trying to figure out what had happened. And sure enough, Jonah said, it's me. I didn't do something God told me to do. And so the men threw him off of the ship, hoping that that would save them. And it did. Because after they threw him into the water, whoop, two pages. After they threw him into the water, then the storm stopped. But Jonah was sitting out there in the middle of the water. It was too far for him to swim. What was going to happen to him? And along came a fish. Now, some places it's called a big fish. And some places in the Bible it's called a whale. All we know is it was a big fish. And the fish came along and it swallowed up Jonah. And he was inside the fish. But he wasn't dead. Kind of strange, but that's what the Bible says. So he was inside the whale for three days. And during that time, I'm sure he did a lot of thinking and a lot of praying. And he asked God to forgive him for not obeying him. And he told God that if you will just get me out of this fish and back on dry land, I will go to Nineveh and I will do what you told me to do. So, sure enough, God sent the fish. And it swam towards the shore. And when it got to the shore, the Bible says that it spit him up. It threw him up on the shore. And he was safe on land again. And the Bible says that Jonah got up and he headed straight for Nineveh. And he started preaching. And he, it was a big city. And he told everybody what God had told him to tell them that God was upset with them because they weren't obeying God's rules, that they were being they were wicked and they weren't doing what was right, and that if they didn't change, that God was going to destroy their city. And you know what? Something amazing happened. They repented. They were sorry for what they had done, and they asked God to forgive them, and he did. But then there's Jonah. Jonah was sort of upset because they got off and that God wasn't going to wasn't going to punish them, and he didn't think that was right. And the Bible says he climbed up on a hill overlooking the city, and it was hot, and he was grumpy, and he was tired, and he was frustrated. And God caused a plant to grow, and it grew up and it shaded him, and it was nice and cool in the shade. There was a little breeze growing, blowing. And he was okay. But then, the next morning, when he got up, the plant died. And he was hot again. And the sun was hot. And it was grumpy again. And it was going bad. And he started complaining to God about all these things. And he said, wait, you're upset because a plant died? And I simply wanted to save the people of Nineveh? I wanted them to follow me and to obey me. I love them and I want the best for them. Just like I want the best for you, Jonah. And I want you to obey me and love me. And Jonah, well, he realized that he was wrong. And he asked God to forgive him. And he promised that from then on he would do whatever God told him to do. 
and he would go wherever God wanted him to go. And according to what the Bible said, he did. You know, it's a wonderful story. It's an exciting story. But it's something to learn that God cares about all people. And he wants all people to follow him and to love him. And he wants to save them. And he wants us to follow his directions and do what, we t what he tells us to do. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Bye-bye.